What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa. You guys have been asking for this video for so long. Here it is. I don't know why it took so long for me to shoot this video. I apologize. This is my fragrance collection. Let's get it started. There's a lot to go over here. As you guys can see, I have built quite the large collection of fragrances. Some of them I purchased, some of them were given to me by the brands themselves. Some of them were gifts from friends and family. The, needless to say, there's, I, I get a little indecisive sometimes when I wanna get ready. I don't know which one to spray because it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Where do I start? Let's go from left to right. How about that? We'll keep it simple, we'll keep it simple. Over here we see all of the fragrances from Creed. Creed is obviously one of the coolest fragrance brands in my opinion. They have been such a cool brand to work with, uh, to wear, and it's a niche fragrance house that if you know fragrances, then you probably love Creed. It's one of those, if you know, you know. I could not tell you which one of these here from Creed is my favorite, but I would say Green Irish Tweed, Creed Aventus, Silver Mountain Water, these three would probably be my favorites. And then we have Aventus Cologne, which is for the summertime, more breezy, more fresh than the actual Aventus. By the way, this is their 10 year anniversary bottle. It looks incredible. And I have a sad story for you guys. On the way up, I was bringing, I was bringing all of my fragrances up from my closet to the kitchen here so I could shoot this, this video. And I felt something wet in the bag where I put all my, all my fragrances in. And it's, I could smell Creed Aventus. And I was like, no, 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 please, please. And I looked and I saw that this Creed Aventus bottle was completely leaked. Uh, and now my laundry basket smells absolutely incredible, but um, I just lost out on a lot of money. This is about $400 and it was like, you know, three quarters of the way full. So rest in peace, at least, uh, Everything smells amazing now in this house. So this is my newest cologne from Creed. This is Viking Cologne. It is a great summertime fragrance. We have um, Milamese Imperial. This one, the, probably one of the coolest cologne bottles I think you could ever get. And then we have here Himalaya. Haven't worn this one a lot, to be honest with you guys. And my empty. Moving over to, again, this is definitely one of my favorite brands when it comes to fragrances. Tom Ford does it so, so well. And I have quite the collection from Tom Ford because I just think that he nails all of his scents. Uh, Bitter Peach has been a favorite of mine. It's very light, um, but it just smells delicious. And then we have some here, let's see. Uh, Amber Absolute, very strong. Beau de Jour, this has to be one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Smells super masculine, pretty strong, um, powerful. I put it on to go out at night with my friends when I throw on a leather jacket. This is such a good scent. And then Costa Azura Aqua. This is one of my absolute favorite uh, summer fragrances. So fresh, so tropical, ocean breeze vibes. Like I, I bring this uh, when I travel, when I go to Miami, when I go to, on, on a vacation that is very tropical. This is usually the cologne that I bring, as well as Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is the other one. So it's, between these two, you're set for summer. Honestly, these are classic, like, amazing. And then Costa Azura, not the aqua version. Really, really good as well. This is actually Robbie's, my girlfriend. Uh, she loves this on me. It's her favorite cologne on me. And uh, this one is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. It's probably the first cologne that I got from Tom Ford. Classic, smells incredible. So strong, like, oh man, you throw one a leather, I got goosebumps just smelling it. You throw one a leather jacket, you spray some of this, you're gonna smell like a badass. Like you're gonna smell absolutely amazing. So cannot go wrong with this. Um, and then we have Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I think out of all of the Tom Ford fragrances, if you're gonna go for a masculine leather strong scent, this is the one, guys. This scent is stunning. So powerful, so good, highly recommend it. And then if you're feeling adventurous, Tom Ford Fabulous. It smells fabulous. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. No, I will say, hit or miss, 
whether you, you might love it or you might hate it. I love it, Robbie hates it, so I don't wear it much, but man, I, I love this set so much. I wish she liked it. I wish my girlfriend liked it. And then the last two Tom Fords, these are Black Orchid, EDP, and then just a normal Parfum. Um, man, great, great scents. A little bit more feminine, if I can say that. I think um, they're not as strong as the other ones, but still smell amazing. Moving on to YSL, I think they make really, really nice fragrances. This is probably one of the first fragrances that I really wore the crap out of. This is Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome. I highly recommend this fragrance. If you want something that is smooth, sexy, attractive, if you're going somewhere where people are gonna be kind of closer to you in an intimate setting, the best way I can describe this scent is a smooth badass. Like it's just, it's sexy, man. It's so sexy and if you're going on a date, this is the cologne that you wear, all right? Because this is amazing. Next up, we have, let's go with YSL Y. I um, haven't worn this one much. I think it's a great scent. It smells a little more sweet. It's not as good, in my opinion, as La Nuit de Long. This here is just one of my favorites. And then Y La Parfum. This one here, I just got literally two days ago. Very strong scent. I'm gonna spray it a little bit. This one here is more like this one is like, it punches you in the face. It's, a, I would say it's a club type of cologne. It's a cologne that when you wear out, people are gonna smell you. Like you walk by people and they're like, damn, that guy, like he smells really good, really powerful, right? So very smooth, very intimate, very nice and pleasing, powerful in your face. I want you to look at me, I want your attention. All right, let me talk to you guys about one of the coolest fragrances that I have in this collection here. This is a new fragrance that I just got from Judith Lieber and it's called More Is More and I really like what they've done with this. Basically, it's three tubes and in each tube, there's different liquid, different fluids, different fragrances and you can turn them on or off mix and match the scents in each of these tubes and then spray and they will actually get combined so you can make various different combinations and make your own scent with these three tubes here, which is really smart, really, really cool. I love the idea. Um, I thought they did such an amazing job with this and it works really well. So yeah, we need, we need more of this, right? We need unique scents, customization. Congrats to Judith Lieber because this is really, really cool. Well done, well done. So we talked about Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which is obviously one of the most classic, well-known summer fragrances out there. And then I also have the variation Italian Zest. I really like this fragrance. Uh, this fragrance always reminds me of a trip that I went to. I went to Italy, to Positano, which was one of my favorite trips of all time. I've been to many places in the world. That place is stunning. And I wore this during that trip, and it always brings me back to Italy, so really, really beautiful scent. It's like this, but more citrusy. And then we also have Dolce & Gabbana, the one. One of my favorite scents to wear in the holiday season because it's so warm, it's so nice, and I got it for Christmas many, many years ago, so every time I spray it, it reminds me of Christmas, it reminds me of the holiday season and my family. Speaking of summer scents, let's go over to Invictus by Paco Rabanne. I mean, one of the best scents out there for summer, really fresh, really airy, I would say one of the best designs as well. The trophy, you can't go wrong with it. It looks really cool on your counter, on your bathroom counter, in your bedroom, closet, it looks amazing. And it smells just so fresh, man. So, so fresh. If you're looking for a summer scent that is different than what most guys are gonna be wearing, I would say this is a really, really good option. Another classic, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans and um, this one here, it reminds me of high school. I remember I had a, I never had this in high school, but I had friends who wore this in high school. It's just a classic, can't really go wrong with it. It's one of those scents that I feel like if you have a fragrance collection, you need to have it. I don't wear it that much. Robbie actually loves this scent though. Next, Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gio. And Aqua di Gio, this was my first ever cologne. As you can see, it's almost, this wasn't the actual bottle, but as you can see, this one's done. I have a new one already downstairs, just so you know, because this cologne is what started it all for me. You know, 
uh, like just enjoying colognes, enjoying taking care of myself, looking good, feeling good. I remember I worked at Best Buy and every day I would, you know, do my hair and spray this and I would go to work feeling, feeling good, feeling like I, I looked my best. And this was a big part of it. Very fresh, classic scent. And then if you want something more punchy, more masculine, stronger, Acqua Di Profumo, man, this is such an amazing scent. If you're going to an office, um, a business setting, and you want to smell like the boss, like the CEO, this is an amazing scent for that. Um, this, oh, I've had this for a while, and every time I smell it, I'm like, damn, like, it doesn't get old, man. It just does not get old. It is such a classic scent. Let's talk about another fragrance that every guy has had, bought, smelled before, and that is Sauvage Dior. And Sauvage is one of those scents that you can wear for anything, anytime, anywhere. It is such a jack of all trades, a Swiss army knife of fragrances. You can wear it to go to a wedding, whether it's your wedding or someone else's wedding. You can wear it to go run errands. You can wear it to go to a bar, to go to a club. It is just a beautiful scent. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. The only problem with this scent is that every guy has the scent. It's kind of, it's not unique anymore. But I mean, you gotta you gotta give it to, to Dior. You know, they made a scent that it was so good that everyone wanted to buy it, and that's a feat on its own, right? That's an amazing accomplishment. So, props to you, Dior. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Two fragrances that I definitely wear a lot: Blue de Chanel, um, kind of like Dior Sauvage. It's one of those fragrances that every guy should have. One of those fragrances that are just incredible. And then Allure Homme Sport or Extreme. Um, this fragrance here is another jack of all trades. You can wear that for anything. Even going to the gym, you can wear this and it smells really, really good. Highly recommend it. It's pretty pricey, but you're gonna get your money's worth out of this cologne. It's just, Robbie loves this one too. It smells so, so good. And I think, I think a lot of people sleep on this fragrance because it is so amazing. So obviously I have so many fragrances here that I kinda just wanna do a lightning round so that we can go through them. We have Diesel, Only the Brave. We have Coach right here. Actually, this one is really good. Also another one of those that people sleep on. Hugo Boss Tonic, Hugo Boss Boss Intense. We have Bottega Veneta Pour Homme, really good scent as well. We have, of course, a few from Azaro, Most Wanted. Um, really good fragrances, and I actually really like the bottle. Also really like the brand Azaro. Stronger With You by Giorgio Armani. This is one of my favorite scents. Love this scent. It's so good for the fall time, fall season. Absolutely amazing. This one is Prada Carbon. Really good. I think it smells similar to Sauvage. So usually when I want to wear one of these, I just wear Sauvage. Let's see what else we got. We got Gucci Guilty in Absolute, and then Gucci Guilty Black, the two Gucci Guilties. Be perfectly honest with you guys, this one here smells like gasoline. I bought it and I was pretty disappointed. This is not, it just wasn't for me. Also got John Varvetas, John Varvetas Artisan Pure, right here for the summertime, really nice, fresh, oceany. We got John Varvetas XX um, Artisan as well, and then the John Varvetas Just XX. This one here is Mew Glare Havan, um, one of my favorite fall scents because it smells like food. It, it, it smells like I want to eat it every time I spray it. It smells really, really good. We have some colognes by the homie Jeremy Fragrance, Office and Date. Really good scents as well, especially Office, one of my favorites. Uh, we have here Pure Excess, one of the coolest bottles I think in, the, in, in this collection. Kind of opens like a flask. It is a little inconvenient, you can't really travel with this, but man, it looks awesome. And then we have one of my favorite fragrances as well. This is probably fragrance number two in my life, or maybe three. Eternity by Calvin Klein. Uh, I'm gonna spray it right now just because I wanna remember. I wanna remember my teenagehood. Oh man, I wore this when I was 15 and 16 years old or so. And it's so good, man, it's so good. It just reminds me of that time. You know, it's crazy what fragrances can do, right? You, you, you smell something and you literally, it brings you back to a memory, right? I have a memory of going to Italy with this and going to Spain. I have a memory of when I was 16 years old and wearing this. I have a memory when I was 15, 14 years old wearing this guy right here. 
Um, I have a memory when I was in London, that's when I got this fragrance. And it was rainy, so it reminds me of like a cooler, colder weather, rainy weather, wearing this right here. Uh, this here uh, reminds me of Malibu, going to Malibu and for beach days and spraying this before I go. It is so interesting what these fragrances can do. And just they just bring you to a different place in a different time, so that's why I love fragrances and that's why I have such a big collection. Now, if you guys are trying to club, there is no better cologne than Versace Eros, Versace Eros. This here is a powerful cologne. You spray this on, you're gonna smell so freaking good, but it's also punchy, man. Like you shouldn't spray this and get into a car with like four of your buddies because they're gonna be like, yeah, I can't even breathe. You know what I'm saying? Really, really good fragrance, really strong. Use it carefully. Versace Dylan Blue. This one here, probably one of my favorite summertime fragrances. It smells very fresh. Got that blue scent, right? Versace Dylan Blue. Um, highly recommend you check this out if you don't have a blue fragrance yet or if you're looking for a new one. Highly recommend it. And speaking of blue fragrances, um, I have Polo Blue here. This one is actually customized with my initials, which is super cool. Um, and then we also have Polo Green and Red and Black. We got the whole Polo collection right here as well. And Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb here and Spice Bomb Night Vision as well. Am I missing anything? Am I missing anything else? I think I think I went through it all. There's some uh, oh Prada, Prada man. How did I how did I forget? Prada Loam has to be top five, top five for me. This is really fresh, really versatile. You can wear it to anything, especially in the summertime. This is gonna last forever. Highly, highly recommend any of these. If you're, gonna, if, you, if you're going to buy a summer fragrance this summer, this should be the one, all right? And look, and look, I have a lot of fragrances. I'm telling you, if you're gonna buy a summer fragrance, Prada Loam is just an amazing, amazing scent that you cannot go wrong with. Now, I also bought the Intense version. I wasn't as impressed. It's good, I wasn't as impressed. I still prefer the normal Prada Loam, just so you know. And then Carolina Herrera, Bad Boy La Parfum. It has a lot of Aventus Creed on it right now. So it smells like Creed. Everything smells like Creed right now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This one here is, um, this one here is like, it kind of reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of this one here, Why La Parfum as well. Woo, that is strong. Wow. Woo. That's, that's how I feel after spraying that. It is powerful. That is definitely a going out at night, bad boy, La Parfum. That's literally what, what it's gonna make you feel like. It's gonna make you feel like a bad boy, like a badass, like you're ready to go on and take on the night. Woo, wow, that was like, that went right into my brain, I feel like. Because I have so many fragrances and I wanna give back to you guys, I wanna make sure that you smell good, I'm gonna do a giveaway, all right? I'm gonna give away three of these Versace Dylan Blue Colognes, brand new ones, to three of you, all right? So each one of you gets one of these and it's free to enter. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, like my latest photo and tag two friends in that photo. That is it. I will pick the winner exactly a week from today on this date right here. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I wanna give back, so there you go. You're gonna smell amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. About seventy-five colognes. Seventy-five colognes. <laughs> oh my god. I never counted them before. Seventy-five colognes. I think I have a problem. And there's more, guys. I'm just not gonna go through all of them right now because there's 75 of them, all right? But you get to see most of them right now. And I just wanna say, I cannot wait to ship out Versace Dylan Blue to you. So make sure to enter the giveaway. It's free, it's on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Alex Costa, same as my TikTok. And of course, hit that like button. 
Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, because I would love to show you more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.